channel. So I wanted to go over some items that I got the kids for um, their Easter baskets and I'm super excited about everything that I got for them. So I wanted to show you guys what I've gotten so far. I'm gonna pick up some other items on the way, but these are just some items to get them started. So Kaylin, who is nine, I got her this dress from Target. It is absolutely adorable. I'm in love with it. It's by the brand Cat and Jack. Look at this detail at the bottom. It has the little painted laces at the bottom. It is just so beautiful and it is in this like really gorgeous lavender color. Um, this is a large size 1012. I know they're kids clothes. I feel like they run small. Um, and this, like I said, is by Cat and Jack and it's $17.99. So I think that's a great deal being that she's going to A, ruin it or B, grow out of it really, really soon. And I figured that'd be a great color that I could carry that on to Easter time and she could still utilize it for those holidays as well, being that that's not too far after Valentine's Day. I also picked up this shirt for Kaylin. I think this is super cute. We actually have two cats at our house, so I think this will be perfect for her. This is also by Cat and Jack, and this was $6.99. This is in a child 7, 8. I'll show you. I mean, I'm five feet tall, and it almost fits me, so being that she is nine, this should fit her well. I don't like her t-shirts or any of her clothes to fit big. I like her to fit them now. I know that's crazy because some people buy them clothes that they will grow into, but I like all of my kids to look very tapered and everything that they're wearing and very fitted. So I think she'll love that. And then check out these hair clips that I bought for her. I found these over in the kids section. They're also by Cat and Jack. They're only $4.99. Here at the top you have some birds. In the middle they're watermelons and at the bottom is pineapples. I still want her to be a baby. I don't want her to be a big kid, so I like her wearing hair barrettes and hair bows and all of that. Like I don't, I'm not ready for her to be in the next next stage of items. So I'm happy with that for me. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just show you everything that I got for her and then I'll show you what I've gotten so far for my son. So Kaylin um, got another one of the Generation dolls for Christmas time from Santa Claus. So we went ahead and got her this outfit too. This is an apple picking outfit and it has the little boots and it has the little sleeves that they wear and then it has her little long sleeve outfit, the sweater, and then of course her apple picking basket. So I think that's gonna be really cute for her little doll. I think she's gonna love that. Here it is on the back just so you can get like a better idea of what she's wearing. So I think that's gonna be a big hit for her. So uh, the kids always do their card baskets that they're gonna bring to school and they don't ever make them at school now that they're getting older, but they can make them and bring them into school. So I always do a project with them and I include it in their Valentine's basket. I give them their Valentine's basket close to um, the beginning of February. I'll probably give it to them probably a week before Valentine's Day because I feel like when you get them, so I'm laughing because my cat's got her foot under the door like, mom, let me in. Um, I feel like if you give them their items on Valentine's Day, then they start wearing the Valentine's shirt or the Valentine's socks and Valentine's Day is over. Um, so I like to give it to them um, like that first week of Valentine's Day. But check out this adorable, adorable, adorable um, card box holder that she can put together. It's a unicorn. I was torn between this one and a mermaid, but I love this one. And this was five bucks over in the um, Valentine's section at Target. Okay, so uh, I know at Target if you don't get their Valentines for their classmates, they're gonna be picked over and you're gonna get the crap that nobody wants to bring to their friends. I'm sorry, it's just how it goes. So Matt always thinks I'm a lunatic for buying stuff as early as I buy stuff, but I had to get these. These I'm sure are more for me than for her, but it's a 16 count and they're called Kitty Cacti's. Like, who wouldn't wanna get a Kitty Cacti card? Um, reading here on the back it says Valentine I'll never desert you uh, there's another one that says Valentine I'm stuck on you Valentine you're unique and looking sharp Valentine <laughs> so I know I'm a dork but they're cracking me up like I think they're just the cutest little Valentine's ever for a little girl to bring in and they'll be cute to give to a boy or whatever but it actually comes with magnets in here so it's not like the kids are just getting a card they're getting something as well so I think she's gonna love these for her class. My kids have ginormous classes. They're double um, teachers, so bigger classes. So I had to get three boxes of these and they're 16 in each. And I 
do believe, okay, so it says that these were 350. So Target Valentine section, and I think she is going to love those. Okay, these my son actually picked out. They're so cute, look how adorable these little fries are. They're called fries before guys. Like I feel like I could get these for so many of my girlfriends and they would crack up over them. Um, there's three servings per container and 90 calories per serving. And they're marshmallows and I think they're so cute. They're just like the prettiest little color. They look like real fries in here. So, and they're really soft. I, I gave it a little, a little squish test and they're really soft. So I think the kids are gonna love those. But I got one for Reed and for Kaylin because Reed was, I was like, Reed, do you want one of those too? And he was like, yeah. I want one of those, so he's getting one too. So I am a book fanatic. I love for my kids to read and read and read and read and read. I feel like it's a great pastime for them. So they're constantly blowing through books. Matter of fact, last week for Reed, I bought him um, three books. He likes to read the more of the like comic books, so they're easier to get through, but he blows through them. Um, but this one's called The Remarkable Journey of Coyote Sunrise. And this is one of the Target books where you get 20% off because it was exclusive to their store. But I picked this out especially because there is a cat on the top of the um, bus and that does look a lot like Kaylin with the long hair and just like too cool for school little girl. And this book comes highly recommended. So I went ahead and got this for her and I think she's gonna love that. So she's a really, really good reader. So I think she'll go through this one pretty quickly. Okay, so moving on to just some little items to put in there. I didn't realize actually that I got my kids this much crap. So we're probably, we're at the end for the Valentine's baskets. It's good that I'm doing this video because I get carried away and I spend way too much money on their stuff and then it's just not a good thing. So I got her one of these LOL surprises. She got a lot of these for Christmas time and I had no idea how much she liked them. You know what, if your kid is up your butt and you need a break, give them an LOL surprise because it takes them 20 minutes to unwrap the dang thing, so. <laughs> She'll like that in her little um, Valentine's goodie basket. And then the last thing that I've picked up so far for her are these Crazy Aaron's Mini Hypercolor Thinking Putty. And this one's an Amethyst Blush. These were really cheap. I think they were like $2.99 or $3.99 something over in the toy section at Target on one of the end caps. So I picked that up for her. And it's, yeah, just like a little tiny four ounce um, container of the Thinking Putty. So I got that for her. So that's all of Kaylin's stuff that I got so far. And now I'll get into the stuff that I got for Reed. Obviously things are gonna be a little bit different for a boy versus a girl. And he was with me when I got a lot of this stuff. I think now that he's older, it's not like you need to be like, surprise, here's your basket. It's more of like, what do you want? Because they don't wanna buy you stuff that you're just not gonna utilize. But okay, so here's the shirt that Reed picked out. There was a couple of choices there, but unfortunately the one that he wanted was a big red dragon with little hearts all around it. And they didn't have his size because he does wear a medium now, an 810, which, oh, well, I guess he's gonna be nine, so that's fitting. Um, but anyways, this is by Cat and Jack. This was $6, and I like it because it's the little tic-tac-toes with X's and hearts instead of X's and O's, so. And I feel like he could definitely wear this after Valentine's Day because it's definitely, I don't know, it's gray, so it'll go with anything. So for Reed Valentine's in his class, all right, let's be honest, boys don't wanna sit there and write out all of this stuff. Girls love this, girls like writing notes. She'll probably write an individual note to each person addressed to who that person is instead of making them generic because that's what girls do. Boys do not. I'll be lucky if I can get the kid to write read on all of these, love read. So these are just little slimes that um, he's gonna hand out to all of his classmates. It comes with 16 per container, which I think is a really good deal. And these were only three bucks each. So like I said before, my kids are in huge, huge, huge classes. So Reed gets to write 40 something times. Love Reed on all these slimes, but you know what? He'll be good at writing his name after this because boy handwriting's the worst. Um, so, Reed got a Nintendo Switch for Christmas, so I went ahead and got him the Minecraft version so that he's not bouncing back between his tablet currently has Minecraft on it and he likes to play on his Switch a lot now because it's new and exciting and Santa got for him. So I went ahead and got him the Minecraft game. It was only $29.99. Yes, I know he can play it on his tablet, but I'm looking to like make it to where when we go places and travel places, there's one thing that he takes and that's it. So, um, yeah. 
I feel like $29.99 isn't bad for a Nintendo Switch game. Most of their games are like $59.99 and I was like, for Easter Basket, heck no, we're not doing this. Um, and then this I thought was really cute for him. It's called a Cube 3D and um, it says, let, here, let's see. It says twist and lock from block to bot, infinitely possible. And it says transform to cube for easier storage and fun on the go, solve a puzzle and tease the mind. So I feel like this will be a great um, game for Reed. Reed is very, very mechanically inclined. And so um, I think this will be good for him. And it says it's for ages six and up. So yeah, I think he'll have a really good time with this. And here's the little like robot I'm guessing that you can build out of it. So that'll be fun. Um, Reed is really big into Fortnite. Let me go back and say, I do not let him play Fortnite. I do not think it's appropriate for him. It says ages eight and up for the game as well. I don't agree with it. Um, there's a lot of dance move on, moves on there that the titles of the moves are just not things that I want my eight year old kids saying. Um, the whole object behind the game, I'm not a really big fan of. So I know that all his friends talk about it nonstop and that they're all very into it and that they all play the game and I get it and like I don't want Reed to feel very left out because of that because he's not playing the game. Will I buy him the toys? Yes because the toys to me don't do anything to promote that negativity of the game. I mean it's not like this guy is speaking the dance moves or anything like that. I know he's gonna hear it from school. Everything he's learned about the game he's learned from school. So if he wants to be somewhat involved in everything and have the toys, I will buy him the toys. Um, but I'm just not, I'm not prepared for him to play the game yet. So anyways, I got him this guy from Fortnite and this is from the Battle Royale collection. This is the Skull Trooper. Um, so I got him that. And then I picked up, um, read some of this Thinking Putty as well. And his is definitely more in the boy. And this one is the super oil slick. And like like I said, again, this is the crazy errands and this is the thinking putty. So he's gonna have fun with that. I hope they don't get this crap everywhere. Maybe that's a good thing to send to grandma's house. Um, So I'm windling down to two more things for Reed. You've already seen these um, from Kaylin's Basket. So I got him these little fries as well, even though it's fries before guys. I just realized that doing this video. So whatever, he won't care. And then um, this is his new obsession of books. This is the one that he read two copies of the series uh, last week. I picked him up a new one um, for when he's finished with the book that he's reading now. He got out of the series because he was blowing through them so quickly. And then this one's also in the series. And then I also ordered him the newest one that came out through Scholastic at the school book club. But this is the Dogman and Cat Kid. And I'm gonna show you the whole book inside is basically just set up like a comic strip. And I'm not sure about you guys, but my son, it's like pulling teeth to get him to read a book that is like this. Guess what? He's not gonna do it. He's gonna be staring out the window the whole time. It stresses me out. He's not gonna do it. If I give him this, he blows through. He literally will tell me, he's like, mom, I'm almost done. Can I sit here and finish reading this book? And I'm like, absolutely read your book and I just log more and more and more time for him but this is what interests him so if you have a boy that's struggling with reading or even a girl and reading word after word after word on a page is not entertaining for them and doesn't grasp their interest I highly recommend getting them a book like this they make them for girls they make them for boys they make them in other series besides dog man I know um, there's a couple other ones that I definitely want to get him into as soon as he's done with the dog man series so definitely recommend this. It's been a game changer as far as his reading goes because I'm not fighting with him to read. I give him the book and he's ready to read it. So here is um, Reed's Valentine box that he's gonna make for school. And Matt actually told me to get him this one. It was either between this or a robot. And I was like, get him the dinosaur. I don't think there's many more years left before he's gonna think that dinosaurs are not cool anymore. So um, I got him this dinosaur one to build and this was $5 over in the Valentine section as well. So he's gonna put that together and bring that into school on Valentine's Day to collect his cards. And then this one's not for my kids, it's for my niece. Um, she was just born in September and I can't get enough of little girl stuff. 
to buy for her because it, little girl clothes are so much better than boy clothes. They always have been and they always will be. I don't care what any store says about Target and whatever, getting cuter clothes in for boys. Cuter, yes, never cuter than girl clothes. So I don't know if you guys can see this up close, but it has little swans all over it. And the swans have little gold glittery beaks. And then it has this adorable little pink bow on it as well. It is cinched around the waist. It is um, cupped here at the bottoms and the whole thing buttoned so that it'll still be easy for her to change her diapers as well. And I love that it has just these little ruffles around the sleeves and it also buttons up the back so that it's easy to pull on over her head. So this is by Carter's and this is in size six months. So this will fit her perfectly by the time Valentine's Day rolls around. And it was only $9.99. This makes my heart melt. It makes me want to have a little girl, but guess what? I'm done. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, I appreciate you guys so much for taking the time to watch my videos. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please click on the subscribe button and then the little bell and it will notify you every time I upload new videos. Um, I'm trying to upload a couple videos per week. So stay tuned and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.